Hello, my name is Julian Hanske. I'm a resident from the Department of Geology at the Marine Hospital in Herne, Germany, and a graduating fellow of the Center for Surgery and Public Health, Brigham and Women's Hospital, and Harvard Medical School. First of all, I would like to thank you, the BGUI, for the opportunity to present our editorial of the week on behalf of my co-authors, Christian Meyer and Quark Dean Trin. How can we improve surgical outcomes? This is a long-standing health policy and services research question. There are generally two perspectives to the debate. One reasonable approach would be to regionalize or centralize the performance of a procedure, in this case radical prostatectomy, to the specialized surgeons or institutions. Data from the USA show that regionalization of prostate cancer care initially occurred in the late 19s and even furthermore recently after the introduction of robotic surgery. The improvement of surgical outcomes after radical prostatectomy in the USA has been partially attributed to such a phenomenon. Conversely, it may be impossible to centralize a common procedure such as radical prostatectomy to a small number of hospitals concerns that were raised in a review on improving surgical care. Alternatively, large state or national improvement initiatives with incremental advances in process of care adoption or compliance may improve uh, the care of prostate cancer for all. This collaborative and inclusive approach is, for example, employed by the Michigan Urological Surgery Improvement Collaborative. However, one has to factor in that this type of approach demands funding, collaboration and patience. Regardless, there is little doubt that both approaches, enforced by health policy or, or not, are needed in large and diverse countries such as the USA. In this issue of the BJU International, Novara and colleagues examined the trends in radical prostatectomy utilization within Italy. The authors have to be commended for their efforts to raise awareness of the need for concentered cancer registries and centralized treatments. They corroborated previous studies on the relationship between hospital volume and perioperative outcomes such as in-hospital mortality, complications and length of stay. They also found an improvement in perioperative outcomes over time. Although their study design may only allow us to speculate on the reasons for these improvements, they are likely to be the result of many factors such as improved surgical technique, improved perioperative medical anesthetic care and regionalization of care. For surgical technique, the only significant advance over the past decade was the introduction of robot-assisted radical prostatectomy. Given the late adoption of robotic surgery in Italy and the controversy about its benefits, this is unlikely to be the major driver behind the recorded trends. On perioperative medical anesthetic care, the past decade has seen major advantages and standardizations of thromboembolic prevention, perioperative care of patients with pre-existing heart conditions and significant comorbidities. Finally, centralization of care may have played an important role in the decreasing rates of adverse outcomes after radical prostatectomy. Although the authors specify that there was no policy-driven regionalization of radical prostatectomy care in Italy. The increase in average hospital volume should translate into better outcomes. Further regionalization should be expected in Italy with the adoption of robotic surgery as only a few centers have the means and logistics to support a da Vinci system. Thank you.